Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. Today we have a WordPress SMTP email setup tutorial. Now, this is going to be really helpful for a lot of us using cloud servers. A lot of cloud servers don't include email setups out of the box, but I'm going to show you uh, some free methods of getting around this today. So for those of us using Cloudways, DigitalOcean, Linode, Vulture, this is a really nice way of getting your WordPress transactional emails all set up. Also, for many of us using shared hosting, the default PHP mail isn't very reliable. It doesn't have a very good deliverability rate compared to using an SMTP service. So I'll show you how to set that up in this scenario as well. Uh, if you want to change from the PHP mail, that's usually set up by default to SMTP. Now, there are some really good free options if you want to set up SMTP in WordPress. Uh, Send in Blue and Mailgun are quite good commercial services that have really generous free tiers. And there's also Gmail as well. It's a little bit more complex to set up uh, Gmail SMTP with WordPress, but totally possible. For this example, I'm really going to focus on Send in Blue. I've been using this one myself for a while and I've really been enjoying it. So uh, if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. First step, we head over to sendinblue.com and sign up for free. Just fill in your details and click get started. You'll get a confirmation to your email address. Just go ahead and confirm your email address through your email account. It should look like this. Just go ahead and click confirm. Now just fill in some more details. Note that you will need a phone number to be able to do this. And the last thing is agree to the terms of service. You don't need to receive the newsletter and then click complete. You'll get a confirmation code to your phone. Just go ahead and put that code in and click confirm. From here, we are gonna choose our plan. Now for this demonstration, we're just gonna be using the free plan. So just click continue with the free plan. And this will take us to our dashboard. So from here, it's possible to set up email campaigns, import contacts and send out newsletters and marketing, those kind of things. But the purpose of this video is just to send transactional emails through WordPress. So all we wanna do here is set up our SMTP. The quickest way to do that is head over to your menu here, go to SMTP and API, just click that one and you'll find your API key here. So we're gonna use this in WordPress in just a second. Now over on our WordPress website, I'm using ideaspot.space for this demo and we are gonna to go to plugins and add new and we're gonna search for SMTP. And the plugin that we wanna use here is WP Mail SMTP. So this is the most popular one to add SMTP to WordPress. So we're gonna install and activate that one and we click activate. You'll now have a menu item called WP Mail SMTP. And now we just need to set up this plugin. So the first thing is the from field. This will be the address that WordPress will show as the sender when it sends out notifications. So I'm using admin at ideaspot.space. You can use whichever email box you like here. You can force all of WordPress's emails to come from there, or you can allow plugins to um, make their own address and send out emails as they like as well. So this is optional. I like to uh, force them all to come from this address and in the name field I'm just going to put idea spot in there you can put whatever you like you can actually force the name as well um, I'm gonna leave that unchecked and I'm gonna leave this one unchecked and the mailer this is the important part we are using send in blue today but there are several other options. I've used Gmail before. It's a little bit more complicated setup but it's totally workable to use Gmail. Uh, Mailgun has a really good special at the moment. I think the free tier on Mailgun, if you use mailgun.com slash Google, you can do 30,000 free emails a month. So this is a pretty good option as well. And you can use any other SMTP service that you like. You just have to fill in the fields below. Um, it does require you to put the SMTP username and password directly into the plugin. So that can be um, somewhat insecure if you have multiple administrators, they'll all have access to that password. If you wanna get around that, you can actually, uh, put the password directly into the WordPress config file. They have a guide on how to do that there. But the easiest way by far I've found is by using send in blue and we just have to put the API key in there. This is very easy. So that's just a matter of going back to send in blue, getting our API key there, just copying that out and pasting it in here. So I've just pasted that in there and then click save settings. So now we can go ahead and test and see that this is working properly. Head over to email test on that tab there. We're gonna send an email over to ideaspot.class at gmail. We can send the email and that's got a success message. 
And over in Gmail, this is working just fine. I received that in just a few seconds. So admin at ID spot dot space. It's sent through just fine. It's via sendinblue.com. So sendinblue is the service sending the email. If you'd like to send it via your own domain to get rid of that send in blue message, uh, it is a little bit more complicated. I'll go through that now. But if you're happy to uh, use this method, then, then you're pretty much done here. And you can go ahead and use this method and get your WordPress emails sent out through WooCommerce or through your contact forms and they're going to work just fine using uh, send in blue. So if you like the more advanced method of adding your own authenticated domain to send in blue, I'm going to do that now. So keep watching. So from our send in blue dashboard, we are going to go over to here and senders and IP and we're going to add a domain. So we click on add a new domain and I'm going to be using ideaspot.space for this demonstration and I would like to use this domain to digitally sign my email. So I'm going to click that one and click save. And this is a four step process. It's going to require us to add four different records into our DNS. So I'm using Cloudflare for my DNS, but whichever DNS management system you're using, we just have to add these in. So let's get started. The first one is the DKIM record that is at this mail domain key. I'm going to copy that. We're going to head to Cloudflare. This is what I use for my DNS management. All right. So I'm in my dash under my domain I'm using here under the DNS tab, we're going to add that record that is a text record for the first one. So we scroll down there text and the name is what they specified there. Mail domain key idea spot space. And the key is this one here. I'm going to pop that in there and click save. Now we can go back to send in blue. Once you've put that in, we can actually click verify. We get a little tick. And the second one is another text record that is an SPF record. Now this can be a little bit tricky because you've probably got other SPF records in your DNS already if you're using any other mail services. The important part is this part include SPF send in blue.com. So let's go ahead and just copy that. And I'm going to add that to my SPF record that I've already got here. So if we scroll down, we can find our text records and we've got one called SPF include there. So I've got my forward email, my Zoho mail on this domain already. I'm going to add in a space and include SPF send in blue.com and we're going to save that one in. So all that does is it gives permission to these places to send emails from my domain. So I'm using these three services on this domain, for example. So send in blue can do it, Zoho and forward email. These all work on this domain. Of course, if you don't have any SPF records in your DNS already, all you do is just copy out that whole uh, record and paste that in as a text record by itself. So uh, it depends on your setup, but this is how I'm doing it for this demonstration. So again, once you've saved that record in that SPF record, you just click verify there and you'll get another tick that it's been set up. The next step is pretty easy. That is a text record, just this code here. So we go ahead and copy that. Go ahead and we're gonna add that text record in. That is a text. This one is just at for root. Paste that in, click save back here and I'm going to verify that one. There we go. And the last one is this DMARC record. So I'm going to copy that one out there. Um, it's just worth noting this one is DMARC. That one was domain key and that one was root. That one was root. So just make sure you get those things right when you're putting these into your DNS. So I've copied that one out there. And again, this is adding a text record. That is a text. And I'm going to paste that in the DMARC and I'm going to copy out these rules and pop those in there and click save. All right, back on send in blue, I'm going to verify that one. And that looks all good. Now it is worth mentioning that with these DMARC records, I didn't have any existing DMARC records in my DNS. You might have some already and you might have some of these RUA and RUF reporting email addresses in there. You can add extra email addresses in there separated by a comma if you want to include the mail in blue ones as well as any that you've got in there already. But otherwise, it's pretty safe to just overwrite any DMARC with this one and it should work just fine. It's just that some people might want to have multiple reporting addresses in their DMARC record. If you don't understand what any of that meant, don't worry about it. Just use the record that they've given you here. But now that this domain is all set up just fine, I'm going to click I'm done here and we should get a validated authenticated domain set up in send in blue. And now when we do a test email, we should get this from our own domain rather than send in blue. 
So back on our SMTP test page, we can send an email here. Uh, we've got a success message. If we head over to our email in Gmail here, we've got a new email. I can check this email and it looks like it's working just fine. It is signed by ideaspot.space. That message about being sent via send in blue is now gone. So I'd recommend this method if you'd prefer to have your emails sent by your own domain and authenticated by your own domain. But if you want the easy setup like we did earlier, you can just have them authenticated by via send in blue and that'll work just fine too, much easier than setting up all that DNS work. All right, congratulations if you've made it this far. Your WordPress emails should be sending just fine now. Uh, the other things you'll obviously want to learn when you're setting up a new website for a new domain, setting up some business emails. So you'll want emails that match your domain. I've got two methods that are both free um, that enable you to do this. One of them is using Gmail. The other one is using Zoho. I'll put uh, links to those videos right here. I definitely recommend watching those tutorials. See which method you prefer. I really like both of these, but check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.